Hey guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today we got Melody, who is a licensed veterinary technician, and we have this cute little puppy named Thor. And Thor is here because we're healthy, but we want to show you guys an ear cleaning. When you think of the ear, do think of it as this longer canal, and you do need to feel the ear up to get a good flush. It's really important to know how to clean your doggy's ears. Even if they aren't dirty, it's good just to get your dogs used to the sensation of their ears being touched. So definitely play with them and mess around with them when they're young like this, um, so they can be accustomed to that, because a lot of dogs do have issues with chronic ear infections. There's actually a little notch, guys, that she's just gonna show right there. See that little notch she's, pu she's pointing at? Right there, a little knot right there. That's where you're gonna put your ear flush and it's gonna slide straight down into the ear, okay? So we're not using Q-tips to clean. She's showing you the Q-tip to where you wanna put the nozzle to fill the ear. And you're going to very gently put the nozzle in and you're gonna to go towards the canal and you're gonna fill, fill that up and you're gonna actually kind of make this gross sound here and you're gonna squish it around and get it all in there so that loosens up any debris you're doing so good. And then you're gonna take a cotton ball and you're gonna wipe it out. And this dog's ear is hardly dirty, but you can see that debris on there. And after you flush, you're gonna take cotton balls, wipe it out until they come out completely clean. And then you're just gonna take an additional cotton ball and um, make sure that the ear canal is all dry. Now using a good ear solution um, most likely will not cause any issues if you leave moisture in there, but we always recommend to take excess moisture out of there to prevent a breeding ground for yeast and bacteria. That's great. And there it is. Beautiful. Now guys, um, you know, he's probably gonna shake his head a little bit afterwards, that's normal. If the ear's a little bit wet in there, um, even if we do our very best to get everything out, it's still a little wet. So uh, he may shake his head a little bit over the course of the evening, and that will also loosen up any additional wax or debris. You're gonna notice that there's a lot of little bends and turns in that ear. And if you look at the dog's ear, this right here, you're gonna see that it is kind of like an L. And the dog ear we have I'll just fell right off. <laughs> the dog ear, we have a vertical, horizontal, and then the middle ear and the eardrum itself. So if we're looking at that, guys, when a veterinarian looks in the ear, we're going to be using our otoscope. And we really need to get in there, go through the vertical, and then into the horizontal canal. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pop it in there, and we're going to pull the ear down a little bit to line that canal up. 